lowering your car with Mike Sketch app on iOS. First, open the app, hit the plus sign for a new folder, your device, then go down to the tools button, go to place photo to place your image. This will bring you to your camera roll. I have my car that I want to work with in my favorites. So I'll tap on that and I'll resize it to take advantage of the full screen. Accept. Then down to the ink droplet, which is all the brush tips. I can adjust the size of whatever brush I'm using and I'm going to go with the solid one for this. Then hit the erase button. Zoom up on an area so it's easy to see what I'm doing. Erase the bottom section. So with this I'm erasing the bottom section of the photo of the so the wheels and the ground leaving the car and the rest of the top half of the background visible. So just get in there nice and clean against the edges there and then pinch to zoom just to re-erase the area you want to uh, work on Then zoom back out and make sure you've got all of the image there so once that's clean zoom back out and then go down to your layers button hit the eye icon which will make the first image disappear select a new layer and then down to the tools button to repeat the police photo section. So down to my same section, choose the same vehicle, size that up like before, except now working on this second layer, I'm going to erase the other half of the picture. So I'll erase the top section, zooming in again, just to get in nice and tight. Clean that up. Then uh, zoom back out again, get the front part of the car. So basically just the total opposite to what I erased in the first layer. And that's that. So once that's done, I'll resize that to the similar size. Go down to my layers button again, hit the eye icon to make both images visible. Then I want to get the top half of the car, so I'll select the first layer, place that to the top because that's the one I'll be able to be working with. Then down to the Tools button, down to Transform Layer, and then push on that top image and lower it down to the desired effect. And then Accept. Now you can send that to friends or add to photos and you've got it stored. So there you have it.